The Queensland Police Service is a very large organisation, some 16,000 people, 12,000 police and 4,000 support. We cover a very large geographic area of Australia and we are a very, very diverse state. Uh, some 5 million people, mostly located in the capital city, which is down here in Brisbane. However, a lot of the state is very remote. I started my tenure 14 months ago. We've had a very strategic shift in what I want to achieve over the next few years. And my vision is to make it the safest state in Australia. The Queensland Police Service is a very hierarchical organisation as police services are. There are 10 ranks within our department, from the commissioner to the constable. That sometimes is challenging, getting messaging through the organisation, particularly two-way communication. And it's very unusual for my staff to ask questions a couple of levels above them. And I really wanted to cut through those layers within the organisation. So Workplace came at a time when I desperately needed to change the way that we operate, the way that we engage and the way that we communicate. But also it came at the same time we were responding to COVID and we could have held off, but I actually saw an opportunity to use it in getting our message out through COVID. When COVID hit, um, there were some extraordinary challenges for the organisation. We're talking about new directives, new legislation happening within hours, within days. What Workplace allowed us to do was to actually get information out very, very quickly, but engage with the entire workforce at all different levels, doesn't matter where you sat in Queensland. But also the ability of junior staff to ask questions constantly in an area that was legally changing all the time. When a decision is made by government that you are to shut the borders to the rest of the country, and it has to be done within two days. You have got to change policy, directives, legislation, training, communication, and engagement very, very quickly. And the introduction, which was very important of our bot, Cornelia, cut through days and weeks of information and it's mobile. So to have that mobility, to use it anywhere across our vast state was incredibly important. We have 1,100 groups. Some of that is great stuff because it makes you feel good and it makes you feel included. People out in remote areas see what's happening across the state where they never had that opportunity before. The QPS news page is everything of interest that the organisation should listen to. Then there's the QPS community page, which is fun. It's about the great photos that we take. It's about the puppy dogs that we raise and the dog squad. So that is a real fun page that we enjoy. But then there are some extraordinary podcasts about wellbeing and health. So it's diverse, it's inclusive, uh, it's pretty well anything you want it to be. Good morning, everyone, and thanks for joining me. Uh, I did virtual link-ups with event. all of my organisation through Facebook every week or two in those very, very busy, hectic weeks to reassure them. But as a head of the organisation, I'm telling you that you're doing a great job. Never in the past would you ever have a commissioner go on to a virtual conference with her officers in charge across our state, but I have cut through about five, six rank levels in the organisation. That is a cultural shift. Uh, and for some people, it has been a challenge. But I would say from our frontline people and those who have found it difficult to engage because of that bureaucracy and those layers, have enjoyed that interaction a lot more. Workplace has allowed us to really transform how we communicate and engage in the organisation. It is only early days. Uh, the response has been overwhelmingly positive. My hope for the future is that Workplace will continue to break down that bureaucracy and that hierarchy. True leadership is really about transparency and authenticity and engagement. And certainly Workplace gave me all of that.